Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Rat Tarot and uh, this is going to be um, Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for October 15th to October 21st, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you guys that uh, this is a general reading for Leo Star Sign and this is not your personal reading therefore I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the position of the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you then uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So going to the tarot spread first, for position one and the first position is about the topic of the Leo's week, the second position will be about the core of the situation, the third position that we do have that is going to be the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last one is going to be about the guidance the tarot is offering for you Leo's. So let's see what we got here. Now the first one that is going to be the Lover's card. That is just fantastic because the Lover's card, well many people will be very excited seeing it because no matter what I say they will, they will kind of think of like oh my god the true love is coming in. And uh, that, that may be right, okay? Because um, the Lover's card does say it's true love but can we handle it? That is the thing. And I will take a few moments here just to explain you, according to Tarot, what true love is. And according to Tarot Creed, the true love is when you love all the negativity of the person that is your suitor. So in other words, what we do have with the lover's car is someone that is entirely incompatible with you. And yet you love them. It is because that is the true love. The, the true love is like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like to explain yourself or to explain to somebody what is the color of black. Uh, the true love doesn't have a meaning, it doesn't have a sense, it's, it just is, alright? And you can't explain it. So therefore, um, I, I don't personally like to see the lover's card when it comes to very initial um, relationship because usually people are very stubborn stubborn to realize that, uh, that what true love is according to the tarot creed and they say well it, you know it doesn't worth it I will just find someone that is just like me so we don't have you know any points where we can actually get into disputes and therefore no disputes, no passion. So uh, yeah, if, if that is the very superficial manifestation for you and you are to find someone that you are going to have a crush on, <clears throat> you know, or you will fall in love from first sight, etc, etc, you have to take under consideration that that person ain't going to be perfect. And if you are incapable to make compromise, if you are incapable to love something that irritates you, then most likely things aren't going to happen the way you are expecting them or to go into a relationship. Apart from that, the lover's card as a topic is pointing that this is going to be a harmonious week for you, uh, Leos. A week in which a major decision has to be undertaken because the lover's card uh, back in time when, when the tarot first was found the card was not named lovers but it was named the choice that was the original uh, label of the m number six major arcana and that's why you will have to make a certain decision throughout the week and that decision what i'm about to say about the lover's card i always say that is that this decision doesn't have right or wrong uh, choice to be made. It is just, it depends what your situation is. Usually it comes to what you want to do against what you have to do and you need to make, you need to take one of the parts. The difference here with the usual decisions that one needs to cope with is that you have to bear the, respond, the, the consequences of the part that you haven't chosen. 
So just to give you an example, uh, the example I like to give about this card is a couple of jobs that one have to decide from. One of the job is well paid, but it's something that you hate doing. The other job is something you love doing, but it is, uh, but it is um, not that well paid. Well, uh, if you go for what you want, the one that is less paid, but something you love to do, you have to bear the consequences of having less money. All right. If you go for the one that uh, you you will be well paid, but it's something irritating for you to do. Well, this is um, you have to bear the consequences of being annoyed every day. So it's kind of like different type of choosing. It's a grand choosing here. And uh, last thing about uh, I want to say about the lovers card is that as a topic, it gives you a, a fantastic chance for you to solve some. Uh, issues or kind of like bring some issues to acknowledgement because they are most likely to be resolved on their own accord and especially if those issues are lingering for a quite a while now the next car that we do have here this is going to be um, the core of the situation and we do have the six of wands heavily supporting the lovers card so it does look like that the prerequisite of such a harmonious week is a, a grand milestone that you have reached recently and most likely throughout that week you are going to collect the rewards and the appreciation of it it is just literally what can be said in the for the six of wands in next to the lover's card as the most of the things are kind of overlaying one another but with the six of wands it will be important here to maintain your pride uh, what i mean is that um you know, if you can do something well, you should not do it for free just so you look well, but it's kind of more important here to have the appreciation and the appreciation comes through material rewards in that specific case. Also, the Six of, the six of Wands um, is a sign that uh, you may kind of experience some uh, peak peaks of... Um, of happiness of indulgement when it when it comes to relationship or when it comes to career and uh, that car also could be a prerequisite for a certain promotion or a, a pay raise then the next car that we do have this is going to be the challenges which are causing predicaments now that will be the page of cups the page of cups in that specific case it kind of talks that the, the this state is not going to last forever. Therefore, you need to make something, you know, to kind of like um, sustain it in a sense of that you have to traverse this short term harmony and short term is because we do have the page of cups here into a challenging position into a, a long lasting one and a long lasting one could can be uh can be achieved by you kind of like capitalizing on the current state instead of um, um kind of being drunk of the rewards that you are um that you are receiving so in other words invest that is what I'm trying to say. You get some rewards, you invest with those rewards so you can sustain your state right now. Um, that if these are material um, rewards, then you know, obviously, if these are money, you have to invest those money into something that will be useful further into the future. Because the page of cups is also pointing that some change is coming from the horizon, all right and that will be also a challenge for you to, to identify that a change is coming from the horizon and where that change is going to take place and because you don't you will have difficulty seeing that that change could cut you quite unprepared and know this here is going to be lost all right so that could be as well a, a change of a new world order or you know a new world or that I'm talking about not grand scheme of the world but for your company for your relationship as well and you have to prepare yourself and you have everything here as a harmony as a um, as a calmness of the environment you know and everything is going to work out for you throughout the week so you have to use that um, faithful coincidences should I say that way or rather support by the universe so you can prepare yourself for the change don't be ignorant from where the winds of change are blowing it is what I'm trying to say here with these three cards and use your blessings that are going to be given to you throughout the week for to kind of quench 
your foundations and your positions. And lastly, we do have the Tree of Swords. A little bit off topic here with the Tree of Swords. That is the guidance. And this card is pointing that, you know, some misfortunate situations from the past may hunt you still and they could severely abate your capability to cope with the new blessings that you do have. That's why uh, the, the Tree of Swords here as a guidance advise you to heal from whatever poignant experience you had recently. And healing uh, means that you need to accept that it is what it is, you know, and basically trying to, um, trying to repair it. It's not that it's going to be entirely futile, but most likely ain't going to worth it. That's why in this specific case, this card, especially when compared with these couple, because they perfectly match through elemental dignities here, it kind of asks you to, let's say, focus yourself on the future and make a clean break with the past. Whatever happened, happened. You just don't acknowledge it, you know, and you have your new direction, may I say that way, and that direction is leading you through a, a major changes here with the Page of Cups into a challenging position. Only problem for you, Leos, throughout the week is to identify where those changes will take place. So that being said, this was your uh, Tarot Weekly reading. Now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and the Lenormand cards are going to show us a uh, <clears throat> event that you should um, either look forward to or try to avoid. So uh, let's cut them. And let's see what we got now first one that is going to be the birds so the birds are about gossips it's they're about social media uh, and information that is coming through a third party in general uh, then what we do have is the uh, whip and the broom and the whip and the broom they they kind of speaks for disputes they speak for uh, wrangles they speak for competition and also revenge sometime and the last one this is going to be the tower the tower is about business is about government institution it's about uh, seclusion as well isolation but I think that this is not going to concern you directly it's going to be just something that you're going to hear about all right but it's kind of will have no much of an impact upon your future so what we do have is no major event happening that will actually swipe off the events that are going to take place through the tarot card so we do have one more confirmation that this week is about preparation here but you capitalizing and utilizing the good blessings that you have worked for all right you have worked for them and be uh, and do something to sustain them for a long term but what we do have with the Lenormand cards is that you are going to uh, hear or kind of read about a certain scandals that we do have either into your career place into your career path that does not affect you directly but most like a um, collaterally uh, or that could be a scandal about your government or a certain government institution that you can uh, draw or withdraw benefits from all right so this you can kind of pull off some benefits from this um, exterior or peripheral event that is happening which does not affect you directly but yet you can choose to skip it you know if it kind of doesn't worth its toils so that being said, Leos, um, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 15th to October 21st, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a general reading for Leo Star Sign. And this was not your personal reading, guys. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread. But uh, it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.